Google and Qualcomm joined $230 million investment in Nokia phone maker HMD Global. HMD Global, the home of Nokia phones. Nokia, obviously, my goodness, early days, everybody knows. Big time feature phones, number one phone maker for a long time up there, up there in the northern part of Europe. What is it, Finland? Mm. I mean, just a classic. You play the snake on there. And Legend. dominant, absolutely dominant company. Yeah. And then they kind of faded away. They were hanging in there. Uh, a couple of, I remember the iconic one with the yellow one. What was that? The Lumia? The Lumia 1020. Yeah. Yep. I remember making a video about that down on King Street. I don't know if you remember those days, Well, Oh, yeah. You remember those days? Yeah, this yeah. thing was all about the camera. We had never seen it before. It was Windows Phone. But, of course, they made the bets in the wrong places, and here we are today. Mm -hmm. Could have just done Android sooner, and could have been a different story. But there was a lot going on in the marketplace, and it was a tough transition, it appears, from the dumb phone to the smartphone. In fact, they kept selling feature phones well into the smartphone era mm -hmm. and doing half decent with it so anyhow the company at least the phone component turned into this or came under the umbrella of this new company uh, hmd global and they have a lot of plans will they're raising money from some real big time players including google qualcomm i mean who else do you need and it's the reason i've brought it up on this show this particular story is because they're uniquely poised right now, uniquely poised to uh, suck up some of the extra uh, juice that's out there that has, has uh, recently become available in the presence of the whole trade situation. So the, you know, there's the difficulties with the Xiaomi's and the Huawei's and the, and all the rest of it. I mean, mostly the Huawei, but maybe also people becoming more sensitive to these brands in the first place and the flow of their data, the banning of apps and all the rest of it. So here's what happened with HMD. This is this is the key right here. Founded in 2015, primarily to design and market Nokia branded mobile phones with Foxconn subsidiary FIH, who I talked about in a recent story. Okay, so Foxconn already a little bit separated from the get-go, from some of the heat that's going on right now in the world. Mm -hmm. They kind of are somewhat autonomous to a certain degree. Then they go ahead and actually move their data centers. HMD Global shifted its data centers last year from Singapore to Finland in a, in a partnership with Google Cloud, a move that will go some way toward allying data privacy concerns, allaying. That's not allying, allaying. I guess uh, it means um, well, satisfying people's concerns around data privacy. And this is what we've been talking about. A future in which the location of the data center is what people, what a customer might actually be looking at. How crazy is that? I mean, that's great. It's going to what, Finland? Finland. That's so peaceful. See, you're fine with you that. Know, you're like, great. Finland? What are they going to do with my data? <laughs> <laughs> if somebody's gonna have my data why not finland well finland of course it's the, that's the origin the nokia origin yeah. situation right so but this is the smart moves that foxconn han hai these are the smart moves they're making you see all these little they look small this is hmd right now accounts for one percent one percent of the smartphone market it's really nothing it's tiny but these little moves diversify that business and place their chips in different places. Mm. And I I'm not I can't say for certain, but you start getting investments from Qualcomm and Google into the brand, it should act as some indication that they see a kind of uh, refuge, that they see this as being uh, a, a positive place to invest in. Obviously, they've done the investment and uh, with higher potential than where it is currently. Because yeah. of all these ge geopolitical, technological landscape things that are going on. This is a very smart move for them. See? You know, with uh, Snapdragon, Qualcomm, and then you have Android and Google. And then you have the brand Nokia, which is very global. People know, you know? it and are comfy really with friendly. it. And 
you have the data center in Finland, mm -hmm. which seems like a neutral location. Yeah. For most people, yeah. that they could be all right with it. So, anyways, big things happening for them. They've uh, they've raised a hundred million originally in 2018. That they, they have they have uh, you know some some pretty deep pockets. Their valuation has passed a billion dollars, and we haven't even. I mean, they're working on devices. We'll see what happens. But this could be one of those uh, sweetheart little darling type. Uh, who knows what we're gonna see? Mm -hmm. We might we might be looking at an HMD device. A resurgence of the Nokia Nokia brand in a time where there's really truly an opportunity for a Finland-based smartphone. Wild. Yeah. Come Very back. Cool.